Hello everyone, uh, it's Megan Rose from the Philippines. Welcome to another tutorial on how to work on the My Melody hat. So for this hat, I have a separate video showing you how to work on the base part of it. From that one, I was showing you how to work on the frog hat. The only difference that you need to do is you're gonna work on it using pink yarn. So after working on the base part, I'm going to show you guys how to work on the features. It only has three features to it. Uh, it has two ears that looks like this. And I'm going to show you how to work on this. And then it has a flower on one of its ears. So I'm also going to show you that. So the materials that we're going to need for this project is the pink yarn. That is a 5-ply milk cotton yarn. We're gonna need a yellow yarn and also a white one. And also we're gonna need some felt cloth to put inside the ears so that it will stick out. We need fiber fields, just a few. And then scissors to cut the string. Hook uh, that is about 3.25 millimeter, And then a yarn needle to sew the end. Okay, so now we're ready to start our project, starting on with the ear bit. So what you're going to do is, you're going to hold your yarn like so, uh, wrap around the hook around the yarn, and then we're going to chain two. And then for the first round, we're going to half double crochet ten, half double crochets. So there's going to be one, two, three four five six seven eight nine and then ten so that's gonna be the first one composing of ten half double crochet slip stitch to the first one chain one and for the second round we'll have an increase so put two half double crochets on each of those 10 stitches for each of them so for the first we're gonna put two half double crochet for the next ones we're just gonna put two half double crochet to each of those stitches around and i'm gonna catch up with you after okay so by now you may have made the second round with increases on them so you're gonna put two half double crochet on each of those 10, 10 stitches and so we're on the end now we're just gonna slip stitch on the first half double crochet and then chain one and what we're gonna do for the third up until the 12th round is just to put one half double crochet to each of those stitches around just like this up until you reach the 12th round and it should look like this Okay guys, so by now you may have made the ear part for my melody. You're just gonna work on another one. And before you uh, fasten off, we're gonna leave a long tail for sewing. And then after, you can fasten off. So the next one that I will show you is how to work on the flower bit. So for the flower, we're gonna use a yellow yarn first. We're going to chain two and work on nine half double crochets. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then slip stitch on the first half double crochet, touch your string, and then fasten up. So now we're gonna work on the petal parts of the flower, which consists of five. So take your white yarn and then make a slip knot. Insert our hook on the first half double crochet. Chain 2, 
and then put two half two double crochet on that first two double crochet on the next chain two insert your hook on the next stitch chain two put two double crochet on that same space put two double crochet on the next chain two insert your hook on the this slip stitch on the next space chain two put two double crochet on the same space Put two double crochet on the next stitch. Chain two. Insert your hook or slip stitch on the next space. Chain two. Put two double crochet on the first. Two double crochet on the next space. Chain 2, search your hook on the next space, chain 2, put 2 double crochet on the first, 2 double crochet on the space here, chain 2, and then slip stitch on this part right here leave a long end for sewing and set aside for now so now that we have made all of the pieces for the my melody hat what we're gonna first do with the ears is just to put felt cloth inside with some fiber fill so take your felt cloth and then measure your ears place it like this and also for the other one now what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut it uh, a little bit under the pattern just like this So that it can fit inside of the ears. And it has some excess to it. That you can just cut. The bottom part. Insert it inside the ears. And also put some felt cloth or fiber fill inside just a few just to make it plump so that is also what you're gonna do with the other ear okay so now we're ready to sew the ears to the base part of the hat so take your one ear and insert your end into a yarn needle then we're gonna pinpoint where we're gonna put it and for the my melody hat i usually put it from the tip of the hat down to four on that fourth part we're gonna put it just like there and then we're just gonna start sewing it to the base just like so stitch by stitch I usually mount this first because I have made a mount for this but I just need to flatten it and put it on that space that I just told you the fourth one from the middle and then turn it around for the back part we're going to sew it a little bit so that it will curve like that 
we will sew it like that so that it will stick out so just sew it one by one go on sewing it I am pausing the video because there's some background music So after sewing this, leave your ends, do not sew it inside yet, so that if you make a mistake, you can unravel it, and we're also going to use it for the folding of one of the ears. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to sew the other ears to the base. Just insert your end to the your needle. I'm gonna put pin point where we're gonna put it. So this is be two, four. On that fourth part, we're gonna align it to the side bit. And we're just gonna start sewing it to the base part. Just sew it one by one, like this, stitch by stitch. Just sew it like so. And then afterwards, I'm gonna catch up with you. For the back part, you're also going to sew it in a curved type of way so that it will stick out. Sew it one by one. And then don't insert the yarn yet so that if you make a mistake you can unravel it. Okay, according to this picture, you're gonna bend one of the ears so it is the right ear. So since we didn't uh, insert our yarn yet inside, we're going to fold the ear and sew it. What we're gonna do is we're gonna insert our hook our yarn needle inside like so we're gonna bend it and then we're going to sew sew it to this part of the ears We needed to bend it because that is what it should look like. And afterwards, we can just hide our end inside of the piece. And then we're just gonna cut our string. So that is how it should look like. And since we have folded this ear right here, we will know where to put the flower. It is on this uh, left side, left ear. So we're going to hide the ends inside of the flower first. Then we're going to sew it here. So usually go like this. I sew it just like this. Just sew it all around.
And after this, you're just gonna hide the strings. And we're done. Some people or customers would like me to put the face to so my melody hat. But I prefer it this way. It's just a simple design. So let's do that. And then hide the string inside of the flower bit. So this is our final product. So I hope that you enjoyed working on it as much as I enjoy teaching them to you guys. So that's it for now. Bye-bye.